Yeah, apparently it's recording now. Okay. I mean, I don't know if you can... I, um, yeah, I think probably after the meeting, it'll send me a, a link or something to, yeah, okay. to like access the recording. Then you can you can send that, that link to me then. Exactly. That would be great. Okay. Yep. All right. Cool. So the first thing I would do is the drum. Yeah. And so you have... Uh, So if you, you have your two um, octagonal pieces with the flanges yeah. on them. Yes. So get those out. And then uh, you're going to want to get those four. Those bars. Yeah. So with. Yep. With the four bars, you can already construct the drum. You're just going to pre-drill through the hole. Okay. And then this sets in place and then screw it in. Okay. And basically when you do that, do it all four and then yep. it'll all meet up together. So okay. then you'll, you'll have a structural already you'll have a structural part of the drum finished. So do those okay. four first. Yeah. And then after that, do the six flat pieces, all your door, the drum panels that have no holes, go all the way around and yeah. those. Yeah. Okay. Understand. And then you're gonna do the one with uh, the, the holes with the U for the U bolts. This is the one that's gonna hold the door. Yeah. And then then comes the flap. Then I would do the uh, do that piece, the fixed one, the fixed piece. Oh, okay. The one you were holding. Yeah. Then you do the then the last one is the flap. Yeah. Okay. So how is how is the um, how is the flap held on again? Uh, with the uh, the U bolt. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Oh, okay. Like that. Right. And your four. Um, what I call the the crumblers. You'll see the orientation of them. If you can see the, the drum. Yeah. There, one is along the, along the side where the, uh, the panel with the, with the holes that hold the door. One yep. is under there. One is in the sort of the, I guess you'd call that the uh, seven o'clock position. So just so you know, just so you get the orientation of it, when you do the, when you make the, when you start making the drum and you put these four pieces in place, yeah, just be mindful of that, that, you know, you don't end up making the door on top of uh, one of those. You know what I mean? Okay. On top of one of the bars. Yeah. Cause what you basically, your, your bars are going to be here. And here, yeah. here, and here. This yeah. has to be free. You can't have like a bar in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just so the bar. 
The bars cannot block cannot block the, the, the movement of the the flap like that. Exactly. And if you look at the next page, you'll see it, it that it kind of shows that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I got you. Okay. Yeah. And um, that's it. That's it for the for the drum. Is that pretty pretty clear? That's, that's pretty clear. Yep. Okay. Cool. Now for the interface. Is that is that next? Yep. That's or? next. The interface is next. So with that one, you have. You've got the the. Um, you've got the two end pieces. Yep. Um, end pieces. End pieces here. Yep. So now yours. Let me let me show it again. You might have a slightly modified version that's a little bit of an like upgraded kind of modified version. Are there holes in your panels? No. Um, in the side in the side panels, there are there. Uh, um, there's one hole. Yep, that's for the drainage, but not for, for these. Is that for the urine urine uh, diversion? That's where the, the nipple screws right in there okay. uh, for the urine diversion. Yeah. And um, you got these pieces. Yeah. And basically you just line these up so that this, this slot is, is yeah. going to capture, You have one piece that's kind of like almost square, but not really. Exactly, I've got that. Okay, great. So basically, yeah. when you when you take your side piece and your you know front back, whatever it is, yeah. um, you kind of situate it like that. Yeah. So that when you can when you build it, uh, this piece is going to sit in here. It, it, okay. it basically that's your base. Okay. So that yeah. And so when you build it out, that's gonna basically channel all the liquid to that hole. Uh. Like this. Uh. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, it's difficult to hold. Uh, I understand that. Okay. Uh. Great. And then these are secured. You should have either um, you have a couple of quarter inch pieces like this. Um, uh, I don't actually. Okay. Then you might, you, then you have a slightly modified one where you're going to have some black uh, angle irons. I'll show you what they look like. Yeah.
So they look like this. Right. Uh, you see what I was in here? Yeah. Okay. There, so, should be, there should be four of them. Four. Okay, one, two, three, yep, yep. Yep, there are four pieces of those, yes. Okay, so okay. those are situated on the inside of the, um, the front and the back, and they just basically they hold the interface from falling in. Okay. And those, so, yeah. So, so they're situated on the, what did you say, on the front on and the back? the front and the back pieces. Okay. okay. So if you're looking at the, uh, yeah, it's a slightly, it's a modified version of what you see here. Instead yeah. of uh, having like a plastic piece that attaches to the front and back to keep it from falling in, we're right. using these angle irons instead. Uh, okay. And uh, the best way to secure them, you can secure them with a screw, but I find that, and I, I provided some through bolts with a yeah. lock nut. So just make a okay. hole, put the, put the, the uh, bolt in, and then screw down the nut, and then it's okay. never going to move. Because it's like okay. sometimes with you know screw, it, there's a bit of weight on it, so just a screw might not be enough. So that's why I gave you okay. the nuts and the bolts. Okay. The nuts and bolts. Okay. okay. Interface. Good. Interface. So and then when that's all done, the like basically you you get do the sides to the front. You put in your angle irons, you yeah. put in your little piece to channel the flow, and then you're going to have a nipple. Uh, should be threaded on the uh, got threads on one side and it's should be solid on the other. Uh, that just screws in to... Uh, I see that, yeah. This matches okay. up right here. And just yes, make sure you that. screw it in straight so it's, you know, not angled one way or another. Yeah. It should go in just like 90 degrees. Okay. So that's how, and that's basically where your urine's coming out. Okay, great. Got it. Uh, and then once you get that situated, you have a, uh, it's like a little crumb cap and that keeps the, that keeps the nipple from getting clogged. Basically, that, so when you have this piece, your nipple's gonna be coming in this way and then this is gonna be on your, the side it's where inside. the is. Okay. So in case you know you throw any um, sawdust or if any any debris, it, this is going to keep it from getting clogged. So this is an important piece. Yeah, it's like a it's like a filter of sorts. It's kind of like a filter. Yeah, exactly. Well, and and uh, how how is that held on there? That there's a screw. That is, I believe it's inch and a quarter that's provided um, okay. to uh, basically just pre-drill and then screw it down. Okay. Inside. Okay. All right, and so that that'll that's that's the interface. Uh, let me get a finished one.
course, I don't have a finished one handy, but I think you pretty much see how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. And then uh, after the interface, oh, and there's one other piece. This one. Also, it's kind of like a trapezoid, but a little different. One angle is, is, is steeper than another. Yeah, and that is, is like a, it's like a backsplash that goes on top of that other oddball sized piece. So when it's finished, basically the, the urine you're peeing here, it's like a back wall. You, you sort of can see it on the drawings, the way it fits in there. It's angled, so that's why it's, there are different cuts here. Okay, so that, uh, so don't that get, goes, yeah. Does that go on top, on top of this one? No. Yeah, it goes on top. Like when this is situated inside. Yeah. Uh, like that. Yeah. This it goes like this. On the other on the other side there. Yeah. So it's like that. Okay, sort of, so, it's, so it's, it's opposite the, um, where the hole is. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, so it's like a little wall to keep, so in case you have a big, you know, peeing a lot, whatever, uh, it, it, it kind of contains it in this, okay. in this area. Yeah. What material is this actually? It's a high density polyethylene plastic. It's like a marine grade okay. plastic. Yeah. They use it for boats a lot. Uh, yeah. One tip is not to confuse these two pieces. They look kind of similar, so, but the way yeah. you know you got the, the right one, the one that's symmetrical is your yeah. support for your drum, for that fixed part yeah. of your drum. Um, the fixed part of your drum, it's just a support, but the one that you want to use for the interface is not symmetrical. It's about the same okay. length, but one side is much steeper than the other because it's going to be at an angle. Not symmetrical. Right. Okay. Um, okay, and I think that's it for the interface. Um, Yeah, I think that's that's about everything. Okay. All right. Any other questions, or you feel like you're you're in good shape? Next, I'm actually I'm trying to find that one part that you were. Oh, I see. So I see this one, but I think this is that the symmetrical one. I'm not sure if I have two of these or not. Oh no, you don't, because I attached it already to the fixed piece. Yeah, you're fine. Basically, oh, I was afraid you might- oh, I, I see, them. you've got it. Yeah, you've I was afraid it. they might get switched. So I actually, okay. I remember I installed it ahead of time. Um, okay, good. Just good. to make sure. So you're good, yeah. Cool. Um, so we've got, we've got the interface um, situated in front. Um, so how is the inter the interface is what's holding keeping it from to being in a stable position? Uh, what keeps it are those those angle irons. Those black angle, angle irons, irons on the front and back are going to basically the the interface is the size of the hole in the top of your toilet. Yes. So it's going to fit right in there, and then the angle irons are just going to keep it from falling any further. Okay. 
to okay. and uh, basically when you are guiding it in you're going to have your tubing coming off the side off that larger mm -hmm. angle iron that three inch angle iron and that's basically going to channel the liquid from the nipple into the hose okay and then out yeah but but the yeah. way i it was a intentional design to make it so the interface could be lifted out at any time you can always take it out to clean it if you ever need to or if it gets clogged or anything happens so that's why we made it so it's not fixed uh-huh okay Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so I mean, I would start with that. Okay. Get those, get those together. Do you, so you were saying you have, you, you built out the, uh, the shell? Um, or you have the pieces? The, the shelf, what do you mean the shelf? No, no, the shell, the, uh, the enclosure. The shell. The uh, hold on. So, I don't know if you can see, I've got it here. Oh, yeah, I have fantastic. Put, I have to put the door on. That looks um, great. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Fantastic. The, um, yep. He's round, the, the builder has rounded out the, um, you know, like the corners just to make them so people don't get. That's a good idea. No, no, sometimes I'll do that also. Okay. Anyway, he's, he's, um, he's pretty clever, clever builder. He's going to help me up. Uh, put it all together. Yeah, no, you did a good job. Um, yeah. yeah, so I would say um, build out the drum, build out the interface, yeah. uh, and then we could have another call if you want of how to install them. Okay. If, if, if needed, I'm happy to do another call and, and talk you through that part. Right, so how do you mean, how do you mean install? Well, it's basically, it. once your drum is 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 built out, um, yeah. you're gonna let's see. The first step you're gonna you're gonna lower it into the shell, and yeah. you're gonna put your fittings on it. Um, So this is this is going to be on your front and this is going to be on your back. Um, okay, yeah. And basically, uh, you're gonna when you you're gonna lower the drum inside the shell. You're gonna put this in the front, put this in the back, and screw it in. And okay. basically, the way to make sure, I believe. Or I'm confident that this I screwed this on with a Loctite, so you can unscrew it. Cannot. You cannot. These are fixed, okay. and that okay. that's on purpose. Yeah. When you screw this into the drum, when you and, yeah. and basically you're going to put some of the blue. Uh, Yes. Well, that's, this, that's the caulk inside the uh, interface to get, okay. get all the seams. That's what okay. that's for. That's right. um, there's this stuff, uh, yeah. So that's, that's gonna go on the threads. So when you screw it in, 
and basically you're going to do it by hand okay as far as you can and it's going to end up in some kind of an orientation where you're going to need to use the rod to get it to go straight so okay, that your opening on the top is is perfectly situated so when you drop this down it locks into the little I baby see. piece right yeah um yeah. And to make sure that it doesn't unscrew over time, that's why you have the Loctite. Okay, understand. Um, yeah, so that so then you, so then you, you so you have your drum in place. It's oriented the way you want it. Then you're gonna yeah. put in your your hose with the angle iron, the three inch angle iron, um, yeah. and then you're gonna put in your fan. Yes. And all that kind of stuff. And then uh, drop the, the, the top goes in on, you know, put the top on and then the interface and then the toilet seat and the bin goes under. And uh, yeah, just take it slow, step by step. And like I said, it'll be easier once you have the drum together and you're ready to put it all together. We can do another right. call like this and I can talk you through it. Okay. Sounds good. It's like a big puzzle. I know it, yeah, it's, exactly. It, exactly. it's complicated because I, you know, this is the very first time I've ever tried to do it this way. Right. Um, so, but I think you're on the right track. I mean, your shell looks great. Uh, everything yeah. you need, you have. And, you know, any help you need on the way, I'm here to help out. Now that we figured out Zoom, we're in good shape. Okay. Good. Um, so anyway, I'll we'll go as far as we can. Yeah. To to put it all together and then uh, give you another another buzz, another call. That sounds great. That's a good plan. Yeah. I like that. And we can, we can organize another Zoom Zoom meeting. Yeah, and it's helpful, and we'll record it again. So you know, because I have somebody else I'm sending a kit to, so I can give it to her to to watch and to sort of. Okay pick up all these, you know, little details that we've been talking about. Exactly, exactly. Great, Jason. Nice meeting you, and uh, I'll, I'll connect with you a little bit later. That sounds great. Okay. Take so care. So how do we, how do we... Uh, uh, I think it's on me to end, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, ending the meeting. See you. Ciao.